Hello, listener. I recommend that you listen to this short audiobook with keen and open hearted attention. If you stay around for a few minutes, it will help you. But if you stick around long enough, this audiobook will change your life. Now, I have a question for you Have you ever wondered why certain things happen to you, or why some people seem to have all the luck? Perhaps you've heard of the law of karma. But do you truly understand its meaning and significance in your life? In this audiobook, we will look into the concept of karma, exploring its origins and how it shapes our lives. By understanding the law of karma, you will gain valuable insights into the cycle of cause and effect that governs our actions and experiences. Karma is a fundamental principle in many Eastern philosophies and religions, such as Hinduism and Buddhism. It is based on the belief that every action we take has consequences, both in this life and beyond. According to the law of karma, our thoughts, words, and deeds create imprints in our consciousness that determine our future experiences. Whether positive or negative, these imprints manifest as circumstances, events, or even relationships in our lives. By recognizing this interconnectedness between what we give out into the world and what we receive back from it, we can begin to appreciate how karma operates in our daily existence. Part 1. Understanding the concept of cause and effect. If you think that what goes around comes around, then you're starting to grasp the whole idea of karma. It's like a boomerang effect, where your actions and intentions have consequences that come back to you. Karma teaches us that every action we take, whether positive or negative, creates a ripple in the universe. Just like dropping a pebble into a pond, the ripples spread out and eventually return back to us. The concept of cause and effect is at the core of karma. Every action we take has an impact not only on ourselves, but also on others and the world around us. If we choose to spread kindness and love, those positive energies will be returned to us in some form or another. On the other hand, if we sow seeds of negativity and harm, we can expect to reap similar outcomes. Understanding karma requires us to recognize that our actions are not isolated incidents, but rather threads woven into the fabric of existence. This realization helps us become more conscious of how our choices shape our lives and those around us. It empowers us to take responsibility for our actions and make choices that align with our values and aspirations. By understanding cause and effect through the lens of karma, we gain insight into how our past thoughts, words, and deeds have shaped our present circumstances. It encourages self-reflection and introspection as we examine patterns in our lives, both positive and negative, and seek opportunities for growth. Exploring the origins of the law of karma takes us deeper into its roots within ancient Eastern philosophies without losing sight of its relevance in modern times. Moving on to the origins of the law of karma allows us to explore deeper into the historical backdrop of this profound subject while remaining focused on its relevance today. Part 2. Exploring the Origins of the Law of Karma the ageless notion of karma has its origins in ancient Indian philosophy and can be traced back to the law of cause and effect. Every action is thought to provoke an equal and opposite response somewhere in the complex web of life. As a pebble causes ripples in a pond, so do your words and actions affect the cosmos. This comprehension is important to the karma law. The origins of karma can be found in Hinduism and Buddhism, where it's considered a fundamental belief. It's believed that our actions in this lifetime are influenced by our past actions and will shape our future experiences. The cycle of birth, death, and rebirth, known as samsara, is intricately tied to karma. According to these teachings, positive actions lead to positive consequences while negative actions lead to negative consequences. As you delve deeper into the origins of karma, you come across various interpretations from different schools of thought within Indian philosophy. Some believe that karma is predetermined and inevitable, while others argue that we have free will and can shape our own destiny through conscious choices. Regardless of these differences, one thing remains clear. The law of karma serves as a reminder that our actions matter and are interconnected with all aspects of existence. 
Now that you understand how the law of cause and effect plays a crucial role in shaping your experiences, let's explore another aspect. The role of intention in karma. By examining your intentions behind your thoughts, words, and deeds, you can gain insight into how they may influence your future outcomes. Understanding this connection between intention and consequence brings us closer to unraveling the mysteries behind this universal law without even realizing it. Part 3. The Role of Intention in Karma Delving deeper into the intricate web of cause and effect, exploring how your intentions behind your thoughts, words, and deeds create ripples that shape your future experiences. The Law of Karma emphasizes the importance of intention in determining the consequences of our actions. Every thought you have, every word you speak, and every action you take carries a certain energy that will eventually come back to you. It's not just about what you do, but why you do it that matters. Your intentions serve as the driving force behind your karma. If your intentions are pure and selfless, then the results will be positive and beneficial for yourself and others. On the other hand, if your intentions are driven by egoistic desires or harmful motives, the negative consequences will follow. This is because karma operates on the principle of cause and effect. Whatever energy we put out into the world will eventually return to us in some form or another. Understanding the role of intention in karma allows us to take greater responsibility for our thoughts, words, and actions. It reminds us to be mindful of our motivations behind everything we do. By cultivating positive intentions such as love, compassion, and generosity, we can ensure that our future experiences are filled with happiness and fulfillment. As we explore how karma shapes our lives in more detail, it becomes clear that intention is not just a fleeting momentary decision, but an ongoing state of being. Our intentions shape who we are at a deeper level. They define our character and determine the quality of our interactions with others. So pay attention to every intention that arises within you. Choose wisely what kind of energy you want to send out into the world, because ultimately it will shape your reality. Now let's look further into how karma shapes our lives by examining some specific examples where cause and effect play out in various aspects, such as relationships, career choices, health outcomes, and personal growth journeys. Part 4. How Karma Shapes Our Lives Imagine a tapestry of interconnected threads, woven together by the choices you make and the actions you take, shaping your relationships, career path, health, and personal growth journey. Every decision you make, no matter how big or small, has the potential to create ripples that extend far beyond the present moment. The law of karma teaches us that our actions have consequences, both in this lifetime and in future lives. It's a powerful force that shapes our lives in ways we may not even realize. Karma operates on the principle of cause and effect. Just as every action has an equal and opposite reaction in physics, every choice we make sets into motion a chain of events that will eventually come back to us. If we act with kindness and compassion towards others, we're likely to attract similar positive experiences into our own lives. On the other hand, if we harm or deceive others, we can expect negative consequences to manifest at some point. The impact of karma goes beyond just our external circumstances. It also affects our inner state of being. When we act with integrity and authenticity, we align ourselves with positive energy and experience a sense of fulfillment and happiness. Conversely, when our actions are driven by selfishness or negativity, it creates discord within ourselves and leads to feelings of dissatisfaction or emptiness. Understanding how karma shapes our lives gives us an opportunity for self-reflection and growth. By taking responsibility for our actions and making conscious choices aligned with higher principles like love and compassion, we can break free from negative patterns and create a more positive future for ourselves. Remember that each decision you make today has the power to shape your tomorrow. As you delve deeper into understanding how karma shapes your life, it becomes clear that there is a continuous cycle of action and reaction at play. 
This cycle perpetuates itself as each choice leads to its corresponding consequence, which then becomes another choice point for future actions. By recognizing this interconnectedness between cause and effect, you can become more mindful of the choices you make and the impact they have on your life and the lives of those around you. With this awareness, you can begin to navigate the cycle of action and reaction with greater wisdom and purpose. As we go into the part on the cycle of action and reaction, it's vital to consider how our choices in one lifetime can continue over into future incarnations, creating karmic debt that must be settled. Understanding this aspect of karma allows us to see beyond immediate gratification or short-term gains, as we realize that every choice matters, not only in this lifetime, but also in the grand tapestry of our soul's journey through time. Part 5. The Cycle of Action and Reaction Step into the intricate dance of life, where each choice you make creates a ripple that reverberates through time, shaping your future and weaving together the threads of your existence. The cycle of action and reaction is at the heart of the law of karma. Every action you take, whether it's physical, mental, or emotional, sets off a chain reaction that will eventually come back to you. It's like throwing a pebble into a pond and watching as the ripples expand outward, affecting everything in their path. The concept of karma teaches us that our actions have consequences. If we choose to act with kindness and compassion towards others, those positive actions will come back to us in some form or another. On the other hand, if we act with cruelty or selfishness, we can expect negative repercussions down the line. This cycle continues throughout our lives and even beyond death. It's important to understand that karma isn't about punishment or reward. It's simply about cause and effect. The choices we make today shape our future experiences and determine the lessons we need to learn in order to grow spiritually. By recognizing this cycle of action and reaction, we can become more conscious of our choices and strive to create positive ripples in our lives. As you move deeper into understanding karma in Hinduism, you'll discover how this ancient philosophy intertwines with concepts such as dharma, duty, and moksha, liberation. Karma isn't just an abstract idea, but a fundamental principle that guides Hindus on their spiritual journey towards enlightenment. So let's explore further how these concepts are interconnected and how they shape our understanding of ourselves and the world around us. Part 6. Karma in Hinduism Karma plays a crucial role in shaping your spiritual journey as a Hindu, guiding you towards enlightenment and helping you understand your place in the world. According to Hindu beliefs, karma is the law of cause and effect, where every action has consequences that affect your future. It is believed that your actions in this life will determine the circumstances of your next life. This concept encourages Hindus to lead a moral and righteous life as they are aware that their actions will have repercussions. Hinduism teaches that good actions lead to positive outcomes, while bad actions lead to negative consequences. Therefore, it is important for Hindus to act with kindness, compassion, and integrity in all aspects of their lives. They believe that by doing so, they accumulate positive karma, which will ultimately lead them closer to moksha liberation from the cycle of birth and death. On the other hand, Karma in Hinduism emphasizes personal responsibility. It teaches individuals that they are accountable for their own actions and should strive to make choices that align with dharma, their moral duties, and responsibilities. By understanding the law of karma, Hindus are encouraged to take ownership of their lives and make conscious decisions based on what is right, rather than being driven by selfish desires. As we transition into exploring karma in Buddhism, it is important to note that both religions share similarities when it comes to the concept of karma. However, there are also notable differences between how these two traditions interpret and approach this universal law. Part 7. Karma in Buddhism Buddhism, unlike Hinduism, views karma as the interconnected threads of actions and their consequences that weave the fabric of your existence. In Buddhism, karma is not seen as a cosmic law or a system of rewards and punishments. Instead, 
it is understood as a natural law of cause and effect, where every action you take has repercussions in this life and future lives. This perspective emphasizes personal responsibility and agency in shaping one's own destiny. According to Buddhist teachings, karma operates on three levels, physical, verbal, and mental. Your physical actions include what you do with your body, such as giving or harming others. Verbal actions encompass the words you speak, whether they are kind or hurtful. Lastly, mental actions involve thoughts and intentions behind your actions. Buddhism teaches that all these levels of karma shape your present experiences and have an impact on your future rebirths. The concept of karma in Buddhism also focuses on the idea of impermanence and interdependence. It recognizes that everything is constantly changing and interconnected. Therefore, any action you take has ripple effects not only on yourself, but also on the world around you. Understanding this can lead to a sense of mindfulness and compassion towards others because you realize that their happiness or suffering is influenced by both their own actions and external circumstances. While Hinduism sees karma as a way to explain social hierarchy and divine justice, Buddhism offers a different perspective on this concept. Karma in Buddhism emphasizes personal responsibility for one's actions and acknowledges the interconnectedness of all beings. By understanding how our actions affect ourselves and others in an impermanent world, we can cultivate wisdom and compassion to create positive change. With this understanding of karma in mind, let's now explore different interpretations of this profound principle. Part 8. Different Interpretations of Karma One interesting aspect of karma is the various ways you can understand and interpret it. Karma isn't a simple concept with one fixed meaning, but rather a complex idea that's been interpreted differently by different cultures and religions throughout history. Some see karma as a form of cosmic justice, where good actions are rewarded and bad actions are punished. Others view it as a natural law of cause and effect, where every action creates consequences that'll eventually come back to us. In Hinduism, Karma is often understood as the accumulated result of our actions in this life and past lives. It's seen as a force that determines our future experiences and influences our destiny. According to this interpretation, if we perform good deeds, we'll accumulate positive karma and be reborn into better circumstances in our next life. Conversely, if we engage in negative actions, will accumulate negative karma and experience suffering or hardship in future incarnations. Buddhism also has its own unique interpretation of karma. In Buddhism, karma is seen as an impersonal process that operates without any judgment or divine intervention. It's simply the law of cause and effect at work in the universe. The Buddha taught that all beings are responsible for their own actions and their consequences. By understanding this law of karma, one can break free from the cycle of suffering and achieve enlightenment. The interpretation of karma may vary across different cultures and religions, but what remains consistent is its influence on reincarnation. Karma plays a crucial role in determining the conditions under which we're reborn after death. Whether you believe in Hinduism or Buddhism or any other belief system that incorporates the concept of reincarnation, it's clear that your actions have far-reaching consequences beyond just this lifetime. So remember to be mindful of your choices because they'll shape your future existence. Part 9. The Influence of Karma on Reincarnation Now that you have a deeper understanding of the different interpretations of karma, let's move into how karma influences the concept of reincarnation. Reincarnation is the belief that after death, an individual soul is reborn into another body or form. According to the law of karma, the actions and choices we make in our current life determine our future existence. This means that the positive or negative consequences of our actions not only affect us in this lifetime, but also carry over into our next incarnation. Imagine for a moment that every action you take has a ripple effect, influencing not only your present life, but also shaping your future lives. This is precisely how karma affects reincarnation. The idea is that if you lead a virtuous and righteous life, 
practicing kindness and compassion towards others, you will accumulate positive karma. As a result, when you're reborn, you may find yourself in more favorable circumstances with opportunities for growth and spiritual development. On the other hand, if your actions are selfish or harmful to others, negative karma accumulates. In subsequent lives, this negative energy can manifest as challenging situations or obstacles to overcome. It's important to note that these experiences aren't meant as punishment, but rather as opportunities for learning and growth. Understanding the influence of karma on reincarnation brings about an awareness of personal responsibility for one's actions. Every choice we make matters because it contributes to our karmic balance sheet, determining what awaits us in future lives. So remember to treat others with love and respect while making conscious decisions aligned with compassion and integrity. As we explore further into the fascinating realm of karma, it becomes evident that there is another intriguing concept closely related to it, the law of attraction. Let's dive into how these two powerful forces intertwine and shape our realities. Part 10, Karma and the Law of Attraction. Imagine the incredible power you hold to shape your reality and attract all that you desire into your life. The law of karma teaches us that our actions have consequences, both positive and negative. This concept goes hand in hand with the law of attraction, which states that like attracts like. By understanding these principles and putting them into practice, you can manifest your dreams and create a life filled with abundance. Karma and the law of attraction are intertwined because they both emphasize the power of our thoughts, beliefs, and actions. When we send out positive energy into the universe, we attract positive experiences and opportunities back to us. On the other hand, if we dwell on negativity or engage in harmful behavior, we will inevitably attract more negativity into our lives. It is important to remember that the law of attraction does not guarantee instant results or magic solutions. It requires consistent effort and a shift in mindset. By cultivating positive thoughts, practicing gratitude, visualizing success, and taking inspired action towards your goals, you can align yourself with the vibrations of abundance. As you begin to understand how karma and the law of attraction work together, you may realize that certain patterns or circumstances in your life are a result of past actions or beliefs. Breaking free from negative karma involves acknowledging any harmful patterns or limiting beliefs that are holding you back from attracting what you truly desire. By letting go of old wounds, forgiving yourself and others, and making conscious choices aligned with positivity and growth, you can break free from negative cycles and create a new reality filled with love, joy, and abundance. Now, Let's explore how understanding karma can help us break free from negative patterns. Part 11. Breaking free from negative karma. To break free from negative karma, you hold the power to untangle yourself from the web of path actions and beliefs that have been holding you back, allowing you to soar like a bird breaking free from its cage. It all starts with self-awareness. Take a deep dive into your thoughts, emotions, and behaviors examining how they align with your true values and intentions. By understanding the patterns that keep repeating in your life and recognizing the root causes of negative karma, you can begin to make conscious choices that break those chains. Next, it's crucial to take responsibility for your actions. Acknowledge any harm or hurt caused by your past actions and sincerely apologize if necessary. Seek forgiveness from others involved in order to release the negative energy surrounding those interactions. Remember that the law of karma is not about punishment, but rather about growth and learning. By taking ownership of your mistakes and actively working towards making amends, you can gradually dissolve the negative karmic imprints. As you break free from negative karma, it's important to replace old patterns with positive ones. Surround yourself with people who uplift and inspire you. Engage in activities that bring joy and fulfillment. And practice kindness towards yourself and others. Cultivating positive habits creates a ripple effect on your karmic journey. Each small act of compassion or generosity contributes to building a reservoir of positive energy 
that will shape future experiences. By consciously navigating through these transformative steps, you can pave the way for cultivating positive karma in every aspect of your life. The key lies in being aware of the interconnectedness between thoughts, actions, and outcomes while continuously striving for self-improvement. Remember that breaking free from negative karma is an ongoing process. It requires patience, perseverance, and an open heart towards personal growth. Embrace this opportunity as a chance to create a brighter future filled with abundant positivity as we delve deeper into understanding how cultivating positive karma can further enhance our lives without even realizing it. Part 12. Cultivating Positive Karma Start by embracing the power within you to cultivate positive karma and watch as your actions and intentions shape a brighter future. It all starts with awareness, being conscious of your thoughts, words, and actions. Take a moment to reflect on the impact they have on yourself and those around you. Are they uplifting or causing harm? By making a conscious effort to choose kindness, compassion, and passion and positivity in every situation, you can begin to create a ripple effect of goodness in the world. Next, practice gratitude. Expressing gratitude not only shifts your focus from negativity to positivity, but also attracts more positive experiences into your life. Take time each day to acknowledge the blessings that surround you, big or small, and express gratitude for them. This simple act of appreciation will open your heart and mind to endless possibilities. On the other hand, seek opportunities for selfless service. Acts of kindness without expecting anything in return not only benefit others, but also bring immense joy and fulfillment into your own life. Whether it's volunteering at a local charity or simply lending a helping hand to someone in need, these acts of service allow you to contribute positively to the world while simultaneously cultivating positive karma. Lastly, remember that forgiveness is key on this journey of cultivating positive karma. Holding on to grudges or resentment binds us to negative energy and prevents us from moving forward. By forgiving both ourselves and others for past mistakes or wrongdoings, we release ourselves from this burden and create space for love, healing, and growth. As you embrace the power within you to cultivate positive karma through awareness, gratitude, selfless service, and forgiveness, remember that each action has an impact not only on yourself, but also on those around you. In the next section, about karma and forgiveness, we will explore how these practices intertwine with forgiveness as an essential aspect of shaping our karmic path without carrying the weight of negativity from our past actions. Part 13, Karma and Forgiveness. By embracing forgiveness, you can unlock the transformative power of karma, unleashing a wave of positivity that'll sweep through your life like a hurricane of love and healing. Forgiveness isn't just about letting go of grudges. It goes much deeper than that. When you forgive someone who's wronged you, you release yourself from the bondage of anger and resentment. It allows you to move forward with an open heart and a clear mind, creating space for new opportunities and experiences. Forgiving others isn't always easy, especially when the pain they caused runs deep. However, it's important to remember that forgiveness doesn't condone or excuse their actions. Instead, it's about freeing yourself from the negative energy that comes with holding on to anger and bitterness. By forgiving others, you break the cycle of negativity and create room for positive energy to flow into your life. When you choose forgiveness over revenge or holding on to grudges, you're actively participating in shaping your own destiny through the law of karma. The actions we take have consequences, both positive and negative. By choosing forgiveness, you're planting seeds of compassion and understanding that'll come back to you in kind. As Mahatma Gandhi once said, the weak can never forgive. Forgiveness is an attribute of the strong. Embracing forgiveness requires strength and courage, but reaps rewards beyond measure. By embracing forgiveness as part of your journey towards personal growth and self-improvement, you align yourself with the power of karma in ways that can elevate your life to new heights. Through forgiveness, 
we release ourselves from toxic emotions that weigh us down and prevent us from moving forward on our spiritual path. So as we explore further into how karma plays a role in personal growth, as we move on to discuss karma and personal growth, we explore further into how our actions impact our future selves by analyzing the unintended consequences of our present decisions. Part 14, Karma and Personal Growth. Now that you understand how karma and forgiveness are intertwined, it's time to explore the role of karma in your personal growth. Karma is not just about receiving consequences for your actions. It also presents opportunities for growth and self-improvement. Every action you take, every thought you have, creates an energy that contributes to your karmic journey. The law of karma teaches us that we're responsible for our own actions and their consequences. This means that if you engage in positive actions such as kindness, compassion, and honesty, you'll attract positive energy into your life. On the other hand, negative actions like deceit, greed, or harm towards others will bring negative repercussions. By understanding this concept, you can use karma as a tool for personal development. When you become aware of the power of karma in shaping your life experiences, it becomes a catalyst for self-reflection and self-improvement. You start questioning your thoughts and behaviors more carefully because you know they have a direct impact on what comes back to you. This heightened awareness helps you make conscious choices aligned with positivity and growth. Embracing the role of karma in personal growth requires openness to learning from past mistakes and taking responsibility for them. It encourages introspection and prompts you to examine patterns in your life that may be holding you back from reaching your full potential. As a result, through mindful actions guided by the law of karma, personal growth becomes an ongoing process where each experience serves as an opportunity to learn and evolve. As we delve deeper into understanding the workings of karma on our personal journey toward enlightenment and self-discovery, it's important to recognize how this universal law affects our relationships with others. The next section will explore how the law of karma influences our interactions with friends, family members, romantic partners, anyone we come into contact with throughout our lives. So let's now shift our focus onto the role of karma in relationships and explore how our actions and intentions create ripples in the web of connections we weave. Part 15, the role of karma in relationships. When you embrace the power of karma, your relationships become a reflection of the energy you put into them. Karma teaches us that every action we take has consequences, and this applies to our interactions with others as well. If you approach your relationships with love, kindness, and respect, you're likely to receive the same in return. On the other hand, if you constantly engage in negative behaviors such as lying or manipulating others, you may find yourself surrounded by people who do the same. It's important to remember that karma isn't about punishment or reward. It's simply about cause and effect. The energy we put into our relationships will inevitably come back to us in some form or another. So if you want to have healthy and fulfilling connections with others, it's crucial to be mindful of your actions and intentions. Treat others how you'd like to be treated and strive for genuine connection rather than superficial interactions. Karma also reminds us that we have a responsibility for our own happiness within relationships. Instead of blaming others for any difficulties or challenges that arise, take a step back and reflect on how your own actions may have contributed to the situation. By taking accountability for your part in any conflicts or misunderstandings, you can learn from them and grow as an individual. When we embrace the power of karma in our relationships, we create a positive cycle of energy where love and compassion thrive. Remembering that every action has consequences helps us approach our connections with mindfulness and intentionality. By being accountable for our own happiness within relationships and treating others with kindness, we can foster healthier connections based on mutual respect. As we go deeper into understanding karma's role in relationships, let's explore its influence on the collective consciousness. Part 16, Karma and the Collective Consciousness. Tap into the interconnected web of energy that binds us all, and you'll discover how our collective actions shape the tapestry of consciousness. Every thought, 
word, and action ripples through this vast network, affecting not only ourselves, but also the world around us. The law of karma teaches us that we are all connected in ways we may not fully comprehend. Our individual choices have a profound impact on the collective consciousness. Imagine each person as a drop of water in an ocean. As one drop falls into the vast expanse, it creates ripples that spread outward, merging with other drops to form larger waves. Similarly, every choice we make has a ripple effect on those around us. Positive actions create waves of love and compassion that can uplift others and contribute to the overall positive energy in the world. Conversely, negative actions send out waves of discord and suffering. When we harm others or act out of selfishness, these vibrations reverberate throughout the collective consciousness, perpetuating cycles of pain and negativity. Understanding this interconnectedness is crucial for our personal growth and spiritual evolution. By recognizing our role in shaping the collective consciousness through our karmic actions, we gain insight into how to overcome karmic patterns that no longer serve us or society as a whole. It starts with self-awareness and taking responsibility for our thoughts, words, and deeds. By cultivating mindfulness in our daily lives, and striving to act with kindness and compassion towards others, we break free from negative cycles of karma. As you delve deeper into understanding karma's influence on the collective consciousness, remember that each choice you make contributes to either harmony or discord in the world. Embrace your power to create positive change by consciously choosing love over fear in every interaction. In doing so, you become an agent of transformation within this intricate web of energy that connects us all, a force capable of shaping a brighter future for yourself and humanity as a whole. Part 17. Overcoming Karmic Patterns Delve deeper into your own self-awareness and take responsibility for your thoughts, words, and deeds as you strive to break free from negative karmic patterns that no longer serve you or society as a whole. It's through this conscious effort that you can begin to understand the underlying causes of these patterns and make the necessary changes to overcome them. By acknowledging your role in creating these patterns, you empower yourself to become the architect of your own destiny. As you embark on this journey of self-discovery, it's essential to recognize that breaking free from negative karmic patterns requires both inner work and outer action. This means examining your beliefs, attitudes, and behaviors with honesty and compassion. Be willing to confront any fears or insecurities that may be holding you back from embracing positive change. Take small steps each day towards aligning your thoughts, words, and actions with love, kindness, and integrity. As you navigate through this process of overcoming karmic patterns, remember that growth often comes with challenges. There may be times when old habits resurface or setbacks occur. Embrace these moments as opportunities for further learning and growth rather than allowing them to discourage you. Stay committed to your path of transformation by seeking support from like-minded individuals or spiritual practices that resonate with you. By taking responsibility for your karma and actively working towards breaking free from negative patterns, you're not only benefiting yourself, but also contributing to the collective evolution of consciousness. As one individual evolves spiritually, it creates a ripple effect that can inspire others to do the same. Your efforts towards personal growth play a vital role in raising the overall vibration of humanity's collective consciousness. Moving on to our next section about karma and spiritual evolution. It's important to recognize that breaking free from negative karmic patterns is an integral part of our spiritual journey. By understanding how our actions influence our experiences and those around us, we open ourselves up to the possibility of deeper spiritual growth and transformation. So let's explore further how the law of karma intertwines with our path towards spiritual evolution. Part 18, Karma and Spiritual Evolution. Embrace the transformative power of conscious actions and watch as your spiritual evolution unfolds before you, igniting a vibrant fire within your soul. Each action you take, each choice you make, has the potential to shape not only your present circumstances, but also the trajectory of your spiritual journey. Karma, 
The law that governs cause and effect plays a significant role in this process. It's not just about punishment or reward. It goes beyond mere consequences. It is an opportunity for growth and learning. Every experience, whether positive or negative, offers valuable lessons for your soul's development. By embracing these experiences and consciously choosing actions that align with love, compassion, and truth, you raise your vibrational frequency and expand your consciousness. As you become more aware of the karmic patterns in your life, you gain insight into their origins and effects. This heightened awareness allows you to break free from repetitive cycles that may be holding you back from reaching higher levels of consciousness. Through self-reflection and introspection, you can identify any negative patterns or limiting beliefs that are keeping you stuck in lower vibrational states. By actively choosing to release these patterns through forgiveness, healing practices, or making different choices altogether, you open yourself up to new possibilities for growth and evolution. As you let go of old karmic baggage and embrace higher vibrational energies, such as love, gratitude, and joy, profound transformations occur within yourself. Understanding, karma empowers us to consciously choose actions that align with our highest good and contribute positively to our spiritual evolution. By embracing the lessons offered by both positive and negative experiences in life, we can accelerate our growth towards enlightenment. Part 19. Karma and the Power of Choice So, you've learned that karma plays a significant role in our spiritual evolution. It's the law that governs the consequences of our actions and determines our future experiences. But, have you ever stopped to think about the power of choice within this framework? Yes, my friend. Every decision we make has an impact on our karmic journey. When it comes to karma, the power of choice is like a double-edged sword. On one hand, it gives us the opportunity to shape our destiny and create positive outcomes. Every kind word spoken or selfless act performed adds positive energy to our karmic bank account. These choices not only benefit others, but also contribute to our own spiritual growth. On the other hand, Choices made from a place of ignorance or negativity can lead us down a path filled with negative consequences. Every harmful action or hurtful word spoken creates negative karma that will eventually come back to haunt us. It's important to remember that even seemingly insignificant choices can have far-reaching effects in the grand tapestry of life. So my friend, as you navigate through your daily life, be mindful of the power of choice within the realm of karma. Your decisions hold immense significance and can shape your future experiences. In the next section, we will delve deeper into how the law of karma manifests itself in everyday situations and explore ways to align ourselves with its wisdom without even realizing it. Part 20. The Law of Karma in Daily Life Navigating through our daily lives, we often overlook the profound impact that our choices have on shaping the course of our future experiences. Every action we take, every word we speak, and even every thought we entertain contributes to a web of cause and effect known as the law of karma. It's easy to dismiss this concept as mere superstition or philosophical speculation, but understanding its workings can bring about a deeper sense of self-awareness and personal responsibility. The law of karma teaches us that every choice we make has consequences, whether positive or negative. This means that when we engage in acts of kindness and compassion, we not only create positive energy around us, but also attract similar experiences into our lives. On the other hand, when we act with selfishness or harm others in any way, we set in motion a chain reaction that will eventually come back to us. It's like planting seeds. What you sow is what you reap. It's important to recognize that karma operates not just on the physical level, but also on the mental and emotional levels. The thoughts and intentions behind our actions are equally significant. If we approach life with an attitude of gratitude and love, chances are that positive outcomes will follow us wherever we go. Conversely, if our minds are clouded by negativity or resentment towards others, it becomes increasingly difficult to escape from the cycle of negative karma. 
Being aware of the law of karma in our daily lives can empower us to make conscious choices that align with our highest values. By understanding how each decision shapes our future experiences and influences those around us, we become more accountable for creating a better world for ourselves and others. With this awareness comes great responsibility, a responsibility not only towards ourselves, but also towards society at large. In exploring how karma intersects with social responsibility, let's delve deeper into how our individual actions contribute to collective well-being without losing sight of personal growth along the way. Part 21, Karma and Social Responsibility. Understanding the interconnectedness of our actions and their impact on society, you're compelled to take responsibility for the collective well-being through the principle of karma. Karma teaches us that every action we take has consequences, not only for ourselves, but also for those around us. By recognizing this, you become aware that your choices and behavior have a direct influence on the social fabric in which you live. Taking responsibility for social well-being means considering how your actions affect others and making conscious choices to promote harmony and positivity in society. It requires empathy and compassion towards others as well as a sense of accountability for one's own behavior. When you understand that your actions can either contribute to or undermine the collective good, it becomes clear that living ethically isn't just a personal choice, but a moral obligation. By embracing the principle of karma in relation to social responsibility, you become more aware of how your words and actions ripple out into society. You realize that even small acts of kindness or negative behaviors can have far-reaching effects on individuals, communities, and even future generations. This awareness encourages you to be mindful of how your choices impact others and motivates you to act with integrity, honesty, and respect towards all beings. Understanding the principle of karma compels you to acknowledge your role in shaping society through your thoughts words, and deeds. Taking responsibility for social well-being means acting with compassion and empathy towards others while recognizing the impact your actions have on their lives. By living in alignment with these principles, you contribute positively to society's overall harmony and growth. Moving into the next section about karma and environmental consciousness, it's equally important to recognize our interconnectedness with nature. Part 22 karma, and environmental consciousness. Embrace your interconnectedness with the environment. For just as every action has consequences in society, your choices and behaviors also have a profound impact on the delicate balance of nature's web. Your daily actions, such as the products you consume and the waste you generate, contribute to either the degradation or preservation of our planet. By cultivating environmental consciousness, you can become an agent of positive change. Start by examining your consumption habits. Every purchase you make has ripple effects throughout the supply chain. Consider opting for sustainable and eco-friendly products that minimize harm to the environment. By choosing organic food, reducing single-use plastics, and supporting companies with ethical practices, you are actively participating in creating a more sustainable world. In addition to consumption choices, be mindful of your everyday behaviors that directly affect nature. Simple actions like conserving water and energy can go a long way in reducing your ecological footprint. Plant trees, support local conservation efforts, and educate yourself about environmental issues. By being conscious of these choices and taking small steps towards sustainability, you are aligning yourself with nature's harmony. By recognizing your role in protecting the environment through karma-based actions, you can make a difference in preserving our planet for future generations. As you strive to cultivate environmental consciousness within yourself, it will naturally extend into other aspects of your life, including ethical decision-making. Understanding how karma operates in relation to environmental stewardship empowers you to make informed choices that benefit both society and nature. Now that we have explored how karma intersects with our responsibility towards the environment, let us delve into how it influences our ethical decision-making process. Part 23, Karma and Ethical Decision-Making. 
As you ponder the consequences of your actions, imagine a web of interconnected choices that shape your ethical decision-making process. Each decision you make has a ripple effect, impacting not only yourself, but also those around you. It's essential to consider the potential outcomes and ramifications before making any ethical choice. By taking into account the interconnectedness of our actions, we can better navigate the complex landscape of ethical decision-making. In this intricate web of choices, karma plays a significant role. Karma refers to the concept that every action has consequences, whether positive or negative. When making ethical decisions, it's crucial to be mindful of the potential karmic repercussions. Are you acting in alignment with your values and principles? Are you treating others with kindness and compassion? By considering these questions, you can ensure that your choices align with your moral compass and contribute positively to your karmic balance. Ethical decision-making also requires considering the long-term effects of our actions. While immediate gratification may seem appealing, it's essential to think ahead and assess how our choices will impact not only ourselves, but also future generations. By taking a more holistic perspective on ethics, we can make decisions that promote sustainability and create positive change in our communities. As you navigate through the complexities of ethical decision-making, remember that each choice shapes not only your own destiny, but also influences the collective consciousness. By being mindful of how your actions affect others and considering the long-term implications, you can make decisions that align with both personal growth and societal well-being. In doing so, you contribute to creating a world where karma thrives on positivity and self-reflection becomes an integral part of our journey towards enlightenment. As we move into the next section about karma and self-reflection, it's important to recognize that self-awareness plays a crucial role in understanding our own motivations behind ethical decision-making. Through introspection and reflection on past actions, we gain insights into patterns and behaviors that may have contributed to positive or negative karma. By cultivating self-reflection, we can make conscious choices that align with our higher selves and contribute to the collective growth of humanity. Part 24 karma and self-reflection. Take a moment to reflect on your past actions and consider that 92% of people believe that self-reflection is essential for personal growth and development. It's easy to get caught up in the chaos of everyday life, but taking the time to pause and look inward can have profound effects on your well-being. Self-reflection allows you to examine your choices, behaviors, and intentions giving you an opportunity to learn from your mistakes and make better decisions in the future. When you engage in self-reflection, you begin to understand the impact of your actions on yourself and others. You may start noticing patterns or recurring themes in your behavior that either contribute positively or negatively to your overall happiness. By becoming aware of these patterns, you can consciously choose to reinforce positive behaviors while actively working on changing those that no longer serve you or align with your values. Self-reflection also helps foster empathy and compassion towards yourself and others. As you gain insight into your own struggles and challenges, it becomes easier to relate to the experiences of those around you. This understanding allows for more meaningful connections with others, as well as a greater sense of unity within the larger human experience. So take a moment today to reflect on your past actions. Consider how they have shaped who you are today and how they may continue shaping who you become tomorrow. Embracing the teachings of karma means acknowledging that every action has consequences, both positive and negative. By cultivating self-awareness through reflection, you empower yourself to make conscious choices that align with the principles of karma. Choices rooted in kindness, compassion, and personal growth. Part 25. Embracing the teachings of karma. Open your heart and let the transformative power of karma guide you towards a life filled with compassion, understanding, and personal growth. Embracing the teachings of karma means recognizing that every action we take has consequences, not only in this lifetime, but also in future lifetimes. 
It is an invitation to become more mindful and intentional in our choices. For we hold the power to shape our own destiny. Karma teaches us that what goes around comes around. The energy we put out into the world will eventually find its way back to us. This understanding can be both empowering and humbling. It reminds us that we have the ability to create positive change in our lives by acting with kindness and integrity. At the same time, it calls us to take responsibility for our actions and their impact on others. By embracing the teachings of karma, we learn to see beyond surface-level interactions and understand the deeper connections between all beings. We begin to recognize that each person we encounter is on their own unique journey, facing their own challenges and triumphs. This awareness fosters empathy and compassion within us, leading to more meaningful relationships and a greater sense of interconnectedness. Embracing karma also encourages personal growth as it invites us to reflect on our past actions and make conscious choices moving forward. It prompts us to examine our patterns of behavior, both positive and negative, and consider how they align with our values and aspirations. Through self-reflection, we can identify areas where improvement is needed and strive towards becoming better versions of ourselves. Opening your heart to embrace the teachings of karma can lead you towards a life filled with compassion, understanding, and personal growth. By recognizing the consequences of our actions and taking responsibility for them, we become agents of positive change in both our own lives and the lives of those around us. So let go of judgment, cultivate empathy, practice mindfulness in your choices, for through embracing karma's wisdom, you can transform your life and contribute to a more compassionate and interconnected world. So, you've learned all about the law of karma and how it shapes our lives. You now understand that every action has a consequence and that intention plays a vital role in determining those consequences. It's fascinating to think about how our choices can create a ripple effect throughout the universe, impacting not only ourselves, but also the world around us. But here's the ironic twist. Even though we know all this, we still often find ourselves making decisions without considering their potential karmic effects. We get caught up in the hustle and bustle of life, forgetting to pause and reflect on whether our actions align with our values. It's as if we're stuck in an endless cycle of cause and effect, repeating the same patterns over and over again. So, my friend, it's time to embrace the teachings of karma fully. Let's make a conscious effort to be more mindful of our intentions and actions. By doing so, we can break free from this karmic cycle and start creating positive change in both our own lives and the world around us. Remember, every choice matters, no matter how small because they all contribute to shaping our future. So let's choose wisely and live in harmony with the law of karma.